Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will give you some testing tips. First of all, this is an ideal world for PPR, for any test. You can use these tips. First one, let me go ahead and put it there. You need to be smart, get smart and play dumb or stupid what does it mean like don't read anything into the question don't try to assume there is something else going on don't make an assumption that the test writer is looking for something else than what is being asked stick to the question as written and don't read extra things into it Again, this is not a real world, this is just an ideal world and theories, that's it. Second one is read all the questions and answer choices. Read all the questions and answer choices. Choices. How many times? Maybe two times, three times, four times at least twice before you answer the questions. Um, you may miss something by not carefully reading and then reading both questions and answers. Um, if you really don't have any idea to the right questions, leave it blank on the first time and then you can come back later after you go through other questions. Um, basically, um, your brain is answering the questions uh, while you're reading other questions later on if you're not still answering the questions you can just guess the only penalty for guessing uh, you can get it wrong the only thing is certain if you don't put anything down uh, you might get it wrong already next one will be comparison if you see comparison between students, that's gonna be a hundred percent wrong. Don't choose that answer choice. If you see uh, in the question more than less than or rather than less likely more likely the answer choice is probably wrong okay fifth one look for always positive things positive things students are always good parents are always good there is no problem with school finance um, teacher has everything all the materials he needs like everything it's a perfect world perfect world again this is not related to real world it's ideal world perfect world seventh one is trust your instincts what i mean is that your first impression on how to answer a question is generally i can say usually correct just choose that one okay let me add another one the eighth one is watch the clock it seems it's not gonna end but it's a limited time use it wisely I want to add the ninth one as Siri think about you like a Siri you're answering the questions like a Siri okay we're not adding anything into the question or just remove it from the question whatever it is 
that's the question don't add or remove anything that's the thing don't be emotional don't be emotional what I mean is that when you read the question you can say it if I were in her shoes or in his shoes I would do this I would do that no whatever the theory says that's the answer next one 11 there is no one answer in PPR test questions sometimes you're gonna see the answer choices all of them are correct you're right all of them are correct but it says which one is the best choice what are we gonna do at that time we need to look for the general one usually that will be the correct answer let me make this smaller and add another one okay we're always thinking about 240 points that's the passing score don't think about that think about how you can get 290 295 don't limit yourself sky is the limit you know better than me already I don't want to scare you but you have five times you can take this test I don't know if it is your first time second time third or fourth if it is fifth time it's gonna be so stressful be careful 13 if the answer choice is related to grading or rewards awards the answer choice is 90% I can say 90% is wrong if you see some of the vocabulary such as engage interest of students familiar to all students all students the answer choice is probably correct probably means 100% almost 100% range of options for the students there is no one way let me put some other vocabularies such as student strength and needs these are positive vocabulary for the students let me make it smaller 15 if you're threatening the student with the grades or calling parents basically we're not making the students stressful 16 we're not using educational philosophy of our own educational philosophy it means it's based on your ideas it's not gonna be based on our ideas right if it says according to you according to the teachers that's not gonna be the answer I forgot to add something right here promote all students learning learning and then engagement active engagement active engagement also that's gonna be the positive and another one various types of learning experiences let's continue with 17 in PPR testing they are using importance of importance of something 
if you see a choice includes this that's not gonna be the answer don't fall for it okay 18 we're not praising the students the students basically we're not using extrinsic motivation it means it looks like a comparison between students that's why if you see in the answer choice quickly we or like rushing the students that's not gonna be the answer sometimes they are giving the answers like everything is positive and let me give you an example it promotes students ability to work quickly and efficiently if it is like this it's gonna be correct it promotes students ability to work efficiently but when we put quickly that means you're rushing the students and then they're gonna be stressful and they're gonna be sick like everything is destroyed no rushing next one is 20 teacher are not supposed to be suggesting or advising if teacher advising or suggesting something uh, basically teacher are trying to add or remove something to the topic or question yeah that's not gonna be the correct answer I think 20 uh, is enough 20 tips for you to pass the test uh, thank you for watching and see you next video